Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video. Uh, Play the Youth. That's going to be the theme list. Play the Youth. Uh, this is the Manchester United versus FC Astana preview. We're obviously not in a Champions League, unfortunately enough, um, but it's just going to be a brief, hopefully under 10 minute preview of the game. Now, a bit of background before we go into what the selection is going to be, I think. Um, FC Astana, formerly uh, known as Locomotive Astana, actually. A professional club, they're based in Nur Sultan. They play in the Kazakhstan Premier League, um, the highest level of Kazakh football. They've got about a 30,000 uh, like arena called the Astana um, Arena Stadium. They obviously play in you know, their sort of sky blue kit. They were actually formed in 2009, um, but their um, name was changed in 2011. Um, and they're basically the dominant force in Kazakhstan football. Um, they have like five league titles, three Kazakh Cups and Super Cups, um, and they have a local live with the rival Karat. Um, so basically, um, that's them. Um, but really, um, outside of that, they're not really that great, to be honest. Um, they've had a few runs in the Europa League, um, but nothing else, um, really. And they did qualify, I think, for the Champions League in 2016. Um, but they were eliminated pretty much after the, um, the group stage. I think it was Celtic that defeated them. Um, so that's just a bit of information about them. Um, this should be a, We're at home, obviously. This should be a fairly straightforward game for Manchester United. Uh, I would be very, very, very surprised if we didn't win this game. Especially because we have an away game at West Ham. And I feel like this is very important to get in the bag but also to play players that haven't been playing and this is where um, our lineup comes in um, so as you can see um, by the lineup here um, Romero is going to be in goal that's that's pretty pretty standard really I don't think there should there'll be any debates of Romero being in goal um, some people say De Gea should be oh sorry I've just seen I've got De Gea in goal I've got De Gea in goal it should be Romero Romero should be in goal but anyway um but Rojo at left, at left back, he's not going to get them in games, but, you know, put him there um, because young Ash Young is probably going to play or is going to play on the weekend. And uh, I would still just about take Ash Young at left back than Marcus Rojo, to be honest. Um, Twan Sebi and Jones are centre backs. Um, give Lindelof and, and Maguire rest, to be honest. Um, Twan Sebi, I think, is auditioning. Um, and this is where this whole thing about playing, you've playing, you've playing, you've comes in. You know, Twan Sibi is the third choice centre back. He needs to be starting um, uh, more games, and this is a great opportunity for him to show how good he is and maybe compete potentially with Lindelof um, for that the second centre back position. Jones has to play games. Europa League's there, so so there you go. Wambasak. I really don't want to have Wambasak to play, to be honest. But um, with Dallo being injured. Um, we don't have that many options or viable options that I feel are going to play. So I feel like he, Wang Vasaka will be starting. I just hope he doesn't get injured. In defensive mid, um, Nemanja Matic, um, really, um, in part because I don't want him to start on, 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 on the weekend against West Ham. I want Fred to play where he's playing. Um, so I think just for the sake of like making sure people are playing, Matic basically starts. Um... Gomez and Fred in the midfield. Although I suspect that potentially we will we will we will we, 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 we will see Mata. Um, you know, I just have this gut feeling that Mata is going to be there somewhere just to keep the 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 the, the peace, Mata and Matic. But I'd prefer if Gomez was on the field. Now, um, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer did confirm in his press conference just gone his press conference that. Axel Twanzibi, Mason Greenwood and Romero would all be starting. Um, but there was no mention of Gomez um, or Chong that you can see in this lineup. I hope, I really hope, I, at the very least, I hope that they, they come. Or the very least, they're on, on the bench. I would like them to start, but at the very least, play them on the bench. Because it's not like we're travelling. They're there already. It should be an easy game. If we're good, we should really just kill off the game early on, no problem, to allow these substitutions to happen. So I hope, I really, really hope and hope that Gomez is, is starting, or at the very least, first substitution off the bench. Lingard will come in at right. Um, I mean, obviously, Rashford's around. Martial and Pogba are still injured. 
Um, but um, with Lingard coming back, um, again, probably because, if I'm honest, I'd rather Lingard start this, because again, on the weekend, um, Daniel James, I think, is out. He's not playing. I don't know if he'll be back for the weekend. I suspect he'll be back for the weekend, in which case, I'd rather Greenwood play in that position. Um at, at, at the at the right wing position and just 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 to, just to try something out or maybe even Chong to be honest because I just think Lingard shouldn't just get a buy into this team anymore. He has to have competition for that spot because we didn't buy a right winger, um, and he's not really a tr I would argue a true right winger anyway because he's he's more like he likes to come inside etc. So, um, um, so in that in that sense, Lingard should basically start start on the right here. Chong on the left, um. Again, I don't anticipate um, Rashford or Marshall or anything like that. So I'd be very disappointed if I saw Marcus Rashford start his game because I think he needs to rest. Um, he'll he'll start. He hasn't been that great to be honest recently. So, um, but he'll play on, on on in the weekend. So Chong needs to needs to needs to come in and step up. And then Mason Greenwood up top. Um, Mason Greenwood has been confirmed by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to be playing um, against FC Astana. Um, and I imagine it will be in the main striker role. That's that's why I, I anticipate in the main striker role, or at the at very least, he'll be on the right wing. But he's been confirmed to start, and I'm looking so looking forward to seeing what Chong and what Quan CB do, um, because we really need um we really need youth, and this is a hit. This is a chance for them to prove themselves, you know. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping this is going to be a big scoreline. The only thing I the only thing the fear I have with this game is that FC Astana um are very defensive, and um. I can anticipate that this might be a frustrating, like Crystal Palace, where they just put 10, 11 men behind the ball. We can't really break them down. And, you know, we could be beaten by a overhead ball like we've beaten them in previous times. So we need to be wary of that um, and really get the early goal early on so that we're not at risk of um, of that of that happening, to be honest. Um, because if that happens, then we're in trouble because they'll just close up shop. Whereas if we get the early goal... Then they'll have to sort of come out and attack, um, or at least come out a bit more, and that's when I think we can go in for the kill. Unfortunately, that's just the way that we play. We don't have the players to break teams down. But then you never know because if we play you, if we do something different, if you play your Gomez's, if you play your Chong's, if you play your Greenwoods, maybe just and Fred, I'll put Fred in there. Maybe just maybe we might be able to create something. Um. So yeah, we'll hopefully we'll be doing a live stream watch long of the of the match as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Um, we've got a lot more planned, especially regarding um, Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 um, and the simulations coming up. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.